Easy. Number plates non existent. <laughs> Day two. Day two and into it. Oh, okay. Cooney. Shit, onto it. How are you feeling about it? Yeah, nah. Bloody cramp in the leg didn't help last night. Oh, yeah. Good sleep though now. What about dinner? I'm on it was it. good. How was the steak? Good steak. Good steak. Yeah, nah, nicely cooked. Just <laughs> nice and tender. Um, you oldie. <laughs> Day two and we're ripping into it. Heading out of Oakuni, we're doing one big lap and going to make our way back to Oakuni tonight for dinner. Back at the powder keg and another great feed put on by the team. First things first is this gravel road just out of Oakuni. It must have had a little bit of rain overnight and it was holding moisture beautifully. Man, you could really get into it and lay down some lines. This gravel is prime conditions. What a way to start the morning. Yoo-hoo! What are you thinking? Good. Big day ahead. Nice and sunny. Sunny, yeah, yeah. yeah sunny. Can't can't pay for that. <laughs> And this is the first real obstacle of the day. A little bit of an incline with some sopping wet sheep grass. Bloody hell it's slippery. And as soon as they stop and lose momentum, they just cannot get going. So in this instance, momentum is your best friend. Keep right moving. There, eh? If you just go up that sheep right.
Just go up here and then just do a U-turn and just carry on. That's an easy option. Hey, I've already been down this morning. That's the first obstacle done for the day. Got everyone through there. I dropped my bike right at the start. Come through the first gate, gravel with a bit of sheep grass on top, and before I knew it, I was doing a 360 down the track for some unbeknownst reason to me. But yeah, into it. Check this track out. What a honey. Oh, mate. Can't get any better than this on a Thursday morning, can ya? Let's just take a minute and soak in these trails. How cool is this farm here? Right off the bat. This is probably 9 o'clock in the morning, if not earlier, and we're already hitting the farm here. Can't get any better than this, so I'm just going to let the clip roll and talk for itself. Here comes Toots, and the gang is reunited. Let's go! hills enticing don't you want to just send it over the other side yeah but it's that concrete trough that's stopping you
so far day two has been pretty uneventful as far as having to help people out. There's that one slippery bit right where we'd stopped and I know that there's a slippery downhill coming up but apart from that everyone sailed their way through. Good work boys. <laughs> Wonder if this is gonna catch the boys out. Boys made it down to the bottom anyway, so
probably where we're gonna find some trouble. We were making good time, probably gonna have lunch at 12 o'clock, but hopefully we're far enough back that everyone's cleared the backlog. Let's find out. worries man, everyone's already here, they made it, beauty! Then a couple trench diggers go through here. <laughs> and now, if we get our hustle on, we'll be at lunch by 12, 12.30. It's not far from here. Beauty, Bernard. Hey Charlie, what's happening? Oh, not too bad. Good having day a, today. Yeah, having a good day. Yeah, fantastic, mate. Everybody's accounted for today. So yeah, all good. <laughs> it's definitely and a different day. None, and there's been none of that wet stuff, you nah. know. So happy days. Not like yesterday. Fifty-eight. Beauty. Check this haul out, guys. The inside of this place is amazing. Making sure he eats all his, all his bloody crusts, grow up big and strong. Hopefully one day. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie, hey mate. Oh, not too bad. How's your day been? Good. Clutch is holding together. Holding together. Have you done an oil change? Yeah, we did one last night. Oh, easy. Day two. Yeah, we're good. What do you reckon? Sun shining with the sweet. Couldn't be better. Good feed. Yeah, what are you bringing about the food? Little May all the way. Yeah, happy days. No, this is the way to do it. Rather than like overwhelming some cafe, you come to some awesome town, little country hall, get the best food ever, and they think you're being nice to the school. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, we win. They win. Actually, you're right. They have a good food. Yeah. I will have another cake. Thank you. Yeah. Are you guys heading off? <laughs> Why not? We've, we've been sitting all today. We're riding on the left hand side of the road. Good man, good. What? I'm on my channel. It seems pretty cruisy after yesterday. Yeah.
another beautiful feed put on by the schools. Mate, always awesome. Someone had finished their lunch early and they'd left and stuck on the main route. But instead of hanging left, he'd come around the corner and kept on the right hand side. A farmer towing a trailer behind his quad was coming around the corner the other way on his side, on the left hand side. But the guy on the motorbike two wheeler was too far to the right. The farmer's had to swing right himself and the guy has swung inside and clipped the back of the trailer on the mudguard with his foot on the left hand side of the trailer and he's actually broken his foot on the mudguard and ripped it out of the boot so that was on the main route we've missed all that because we're on the breakout and ambulance has come and picked him up so sorry to hear that mate but stick to the left hand side next time and you'll avoid this problem i know you'll see us a little bit far on the right sometimes but we're all connected with comms so we can talk to each other so the lead rider will tell us if there's a car coming so if you see us a little bit on the right hand side that's because we're all synced into a group and we can talk to each other Now we're onto a carbon farm, so the grass is quite long, but there's actually like some ruts hidden under this long grass. I think uh, Graham Goodright, Chris and Troy Slater were the ones to open this up, so that would have been heinous with the long grass covering this rut, and it's slippery as heck. So good on you boys, and this is a good bloody track. So the GPS route tells us to go left down here, down the hill, but as we discover, she's very slippery down here and the odds of making it through are pretty slim, there just seems to be no traction. So we've had to go down here, as you'll see, do a U-turn and come back up and follow them because they'd obviously come down here and figure it out and then realise you have to make another route because this was just too much effort for the world to earth just to get back to the same point. Than the shots that have swished. Yeah, I've learned more from the shots that I've missed. Than the shots that have swished. Yeah, I've learned more from the shots that I've missed. Than the shots that have swished. Yeah, I've learned more from the shots that I've missed. Than the shots that I've swished. It didn't take long before I started wagging school. Don't take me wrong, I ain't bragging, I'm a fool But the days I spent just surrounded in smoke I wouldn't trade it, getting faded with a few close blokes Cause the lessons I missed of science and mathematics Turned to hip-hop head into 
simple rap and addict I've got so much shit that I'd like to say But without a piece of paper they will turn you away I remember mama opening a letter in the mail To sum it up and said your fucking son is gonna fail so now we made it to the Wairu Army Base and this is on Desert Road and this is the airstrip that they have built on Desert Road and this can land Iroquois, I don't know, big Boeing 747s if they needed to. It's a massive airstrip in a flat bit of paddock. A fun fact I've heard about this runway was that when they were building it, the local pilot, Furt Spreaders, told them they were building it the wrong way for the prevailing winds. They said you need to flip it 90 degrees and build it that way. And it turns out they were right and they don't really use this uh, runway unless there's no wind because Desert Road is a big plateau and it's very windy so they can't really use that runway much. Army actually use KCM 350s and 500s for training in the desert. They paint them green with a paintbrush, that's what we're talking about. It's an ugly paint job. Bit of an ordeal back there. The Army Colonel, or whatever terminology he calls himself, had lost his banana because he thought we had been riding through Zone 2, but we would just come off the road across the airstrip and into the farmland, but he thought we would ridden down Zone 2 where they were doing training. But all resolved, happy days. Down to the right you'll see the Oakuni motocross track. I've never ridden on this, but I've heard it's pretty good, so one day I'm going to have to make a trip down and have a play on it. So last farm section for the day, and I'll be honest, probably my favourite part of the day, this farm was awesome. It was like riding a cross country race, and I loved it. Oh, Tadley, that's fucking wise. I was trying to figure out who the fuck is behind me. Here you mate. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> No, we're good. How was your day? <laughs> Bloody perfect. Good Not start. too bad? Yeah. No drama today. Bit of servicing. Yeah. Everyone's doing air filters and chains and tyres. And, and even even Jonathan Kite himself <laughs> changing a tyre. <laughs> Hey!
Everyone's happy now. <laughs> Made it to the powder keg. <laughs> Uh, Rob Spados, thanks for the Rob Spados. Also, uh, young Nathan, we've changed some tyre slides, so those who haven't got tyres, I'll open because they push me up into the wall. Yeah, cheers to him. The first thing we need to talk about is uh, gravel roads and the left hand side that we need to be on when we're going down gravel roads. Today we had an uh, accident today because he was on the right hand side of the road. Which was not ideal. So, gravel roads, left hand side, and if you can't stay on the left hand side, slow down and freeze down. Okay, I don't want to deal with any more injuries. Good. Clear? Tomorrow, green is fun. Um, obviously, with the sky today, it'll be, it'll be nice, and the manner it will be nice. Um, it'll be a little bit breezy in the need to push along the top, but um, you'll work it out. Luke's farm. Yeah, it's Luke's farm, yep. Luke Green, yep. Yeah, it looks fun. Um, take your time going through there. He's got a bit of a hunting set up through there, some nice cabins and stuff, and a really good vantage point you can have a look at. Um, so I think the morning, yeah, the morning main road's only sort of 93k, so 